because I'm going to share with you my top four plank variations. Now, you know the plank is a damn awesome exercise for getting you a flat stomach, strong foundation core, and also for helping you to improve all your movement patterns. And no planking rocks. However, it can get boring as hell if you think you're going to be hanging out planking for up to five minutes at a time. Okay, so instead of increasing the amount of time planking you do, uh, once you get to two minutes of the, of the regular plank and about a minute of the side plank, it's time to vary it up and change it to make it more challenging so you continue seeing results. And of course, so you have a damn good time because it's not meant to be boring, okay? So let's go through my top four plank variations. We're going to start off with an easier uh, variation you can start off on, and then we're going to progressively get harder with each exercise, okay? So the first move, it's called the crossover plank. All right, so you get down on the plank, on your elbows, so tuck your pelvis in, abs tight. Now what you're going to do is you're going to take your right leg, you're going to go up and touch your left heel, and then you're going to kick your right leg out to the side. And you're going to just keep moving your right leg backwards and forwards. Go for, say, 15 reps on each side. Now you want to make sure your hips stay really steady, okay? Don't have your hips like jumping up to the ceiling or wobbling all over the place. Your hips don't lie, so keep them steady. So that's the first move. That's the, the crossover plank. Now the second move is called the Superman plank. Now when you move your arms in a plank, it's much more challenging than just moving your legs, okay? So once you've got the legs down, progress to the arms. So again, we're going to hit into plank position down onto your forearms. Now what you're going to do is you're just going to reach out, stretching your arm straight out in front of you. Okay? So again, don't let your hips shake from side to side. A first time mistake I see is people's hips wobbling all over the place. Alright? So you have to work really hard to engage your abs. And if you find it too challenging, take it back down a level, regress. Because there's no point doing it with that form. So make sure your hips stay very steady. Now the next move we're going to do is the cross spider plank. Okay, so we're back down on the deck. You're going to go into plank with, on your hands. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to drive your right knee to your left elbow, and then you're going to drive it straight, okay? So you're going to be just going across your body, and then straight, okay? So that's really going to hit your obliques, and if you do 10 reps on each side, that's totally going to make your abs burn. And it's also a really fun variation. Now, the final move we have is the bird dog plank. Now, this one's really challenging. Make sure you can do a damn awesome bird dog on the mat first before you try and attempt the bird dog plank, okay? We don't want anything to go bad here. So, again, you're gonna go into plank with your hands right underneath your shoulders. Squeeze it together, abs tight, squeezing your butt. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna extend your right arm and your left leg at the same time, okay? So, right arm, left leg. Now, the idea here is to, again, engage your abs, don't let your hips shake from side to side, and really focus hard on squeezing your abs as tight as you can and controlling that movement. Alright, so, then my top four plank variations. I hope this has helped you out. If you have any friends that you think would, this would help them out, please share it with them. Also, post a comment below, share it on Facebook and Twitter and give us a big like. So if you'd like some more awesome tips, please visit the website down below here, fabulousaccelerators.com. We've got plenty more awesome stuff where this came from. And I hope you have an awesome day and I'll talk to you later.